Hi, my name is Ryan Ashley. I'm an electromagnetic radiation assessment specialist uh, working out of Boulder, Colorado. Today we're at the InterNACHI Inspection Library and we're about to demonstrate uh, appliances, uh, both grounded and ungrounded. Uh, we'll be illustrating with a fridge, but this applies to anything from a um, toaster oven to dishwasher or um, maybe a microwave. Let's take a look. So we're now in the kitchen to demonstrate the effect of a grounded appliance versus ungrounded and what the effect uh, can be with using um, a device such as this, which is kind of like a cheater plug, which uh, allows you to take a three-prong and negate the, the grounded uh, uh, pole. Uh, I'm using a, a little bolt sensor, which um, as you can see on the appliance is not detecting any uh, electric field and obviously there is an electric field at the outlet and um, the meter reading Larry on the um, on the electric field in volts per meter with the NFA 1000 which is just measuring the uh, strength of the electric field in, in potential free space is, is 0 0.8 it's quite low 0 0.8 or quite low so now I'm going to change the fridge to an ungrounded condition and you can now see the volt sensor is clearly um, detecting a much more elevated electric field. And our meter reading, uh, just in potential free space again, is now, Larry, what's the reading? Going up 22 times, uh, 22 volts per meter. Even if you go out here, it's still 18, interestingly well, enough. Yeah. You know, enough to affect the kitchen significantly. So uh, a very significant and dramatic increase in the electric field. And um, just uh, of importance here is those electric fields have a direct effect on, on your health and your body. So um, the importance illustrated here is to make sure your appliances are grounded. Okay, we're gonna return to a residence now to illustrate some wiring errors and um, also parallel neutral paths, uh, such as current that uh, enters a home with a, via a water line or a cable line, telephone line, or perhaps a gas line. 